I know how frustrating and challenging learning new vocabulary can be. So let me show you a way of making it a little bit easier with a flashcard program called Anki and the simple step-by-step -step tutorial. Hey, my fellow English learner! Anki is a spaced repetition software that can be super helpful for improving English vocabulary, both passive and active. It can be a bit tricky to learn, so today I'm gonna share with you exactly how I use it. Let's dive in! First, you need to download the program. The desktop version is free, as well as the Android version. But if you want to use it on an iPhone or iPad, then you'll have to pay. Anki looks like this. Very simple. A set of flashcards is called a deck. You can download other people's decks on the internet or create your own. I'd highly suggest you to make your own sets of cards because A. You'll be able to avoid other people's mistakes and B. It's much more effective to memorize new words you have found yourself from sources that are meaningful to you. Articles, books, TV shows, podcasts, you name it. Let's create a new deck. Just click on this button, create deck, and type in its name. This one is going to be named Words from Friends, which is a TV show. Create one or two big decks instead of many little ones so that your learning practice can be more effective. Click on the deck, then tap Add, and finally type. There are a few different types of cards, and the one I use the most is Basic and Reversed card. Let's say you've watched an episode of Friends, and in one of them Rachel said to Joey, just be nonchalant, and you want to learn this word, nonchalant. Go to the dictionary, I use the Longman dictionary, and find the word. Your card has two sides, by the way, front and back. Copy the meaning to the front of the card and everything else to the back. Let's edit it a little bit. Also, it's a good idea to add the sentence from friends as an additional example sentence. When you're a beginner, the setup of an English word on one side and the translation on the other, or vice versa, works really well. But when you're an intermediate learner or higher, I'd highly suggest you to forego translation altogether. To make remembering the words even easier, add pictures. Ridiculous pictures work best for me. I just Google them. Nonchalant friends? Since I want Joey to be in the picture, copy the image and then paste it under the meaning of the word. Tap add and the card is done! It looks like this right now. The definition and picture on the front and the answer, pronunciation and example sentences on the back. If you have a word that has multiple meanings, focus on just one meaning at a time. Don't try to memorize everything. I always learn words in context and practice shows that learning words from lists is pretty useless. To learn and review your cards, click on Study Now. Read the definition, look at the picture and try to recall the word, or better yet, the whole collocation or sentence. Then click on Show Answer. If you guessed correctly, select Good. If not, again. As simple as that. If you want to change how many cards are shown to you a day and things like that, go to Options. I leave a link to the recommended option settings in the description down below, if you want to check it out. But default settings also worked fine for me. When you're reviewing vocabulary, don't just mechanically go through the cards. Make an effort at using the words. Say them out loud, create sentences or stories, and generally just use them in your daily life. Set aside some time to add new cards and review your old ones. Anki is not magical and it's not the only way to improve vocabulary, but it's a useful tool that you can use to make your learning process a little bit easier. If you want to learn more ways of improving vocabulary, check out these videos next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with more awesome language content!